It's a first in this 2015 tour, a raider finally managed to win. Rafael Maika took advantage of the race management by the Big Guns teams after Froome's exploit. Presenting the morning breakaway, the 2014 King of the Mountains went off in the first slopes of the Tourmalé. Winner of two stages last year on the tour in a similar scenario, the Tink of Saxo Pole soon understood he wouldn't be caught back. He didn't wait to get to the Cotre Topogan to celebrate his success. A beautiful odyssey and a jump at the Polka Dot Jersey classification. The 80th time the Tour de France climbs the Tourmalet has to be celebrated. It also gives an opportunity for the men who lost yesterday to bounce back on this stage 11 between Pau and Cotteret. The playground was favorable for the main contenders to attack Froome with the Col d'Aspin pass and the Tourmalet, taken by its most complicated side, La Mongie. It didn't mean the stage win was possible, as some Raiders clearly had their shot. While the yellow jersey Chris Froome made a big gap yesterday over his rivals, it took 70 kilometers to find a decisive attack that would take a good advantage. Seven men took position at the front of the race, two FDG riders, Steve Morabito and Arnaud Demar, Rafael Maika, Contador's teammate, along with Serge Powells of MTM, Bora Argon's Bushman, Julia Simon of Cofidis and Thomas Vöckler of Eurocar. One man counter-attack, Daniel Martin of Cannondale. The Irishman has the profile for today's stage. He got the leaders with 72 kilometers to go in the Col d'Aspin. 36 degrees on the road of the Tour it was too much for some. Best team in 2014, the Age de la Mondiale lost Johan van Sumeren, who pulled out. Romain Bardet even vomited at the Aspen ascent, a bad day for the French team. Vincenzo Nibali and the Astanas handled the peloton space in the Tourmalet climb, but the shock of Messina's teammate threw in the towel one by one. No team can better Team Sky, and the yellow jersey seems safe from harm. In the front, Rafael Maika went on his own and increased his advantage at the top of the Tourmalet. The pole was closer than ever to win the stage. In the peloton of the favorites, Molema tried something in the ascent to Cotteret. This acceleration was lethal for Nibali, who lost more time at the finish. Rafael Maika wrapped up this victory ahead of Daniel Martin, second for the second time after the stage at Mur de Bretagne. The yellow jersey group concluded a little over five minutes behind the day's winner. It's Tourmalet. It's no easy stage. I, I like this weather when it's warm. And uh, today I have an opportunity for my teammates and uh, put me in the breakaway. And, uh, and I'm so happy. And this victory is for my teammates, for uh, Ivan Basel, when he's now he's in the home. And also uh, Daniele Benenati when he's crashed today. And uh, also my family when he stay close to me, my wife. Rafael Maika wins his third stage success in the Tour de France and probably wishes to retain his best climber title from last year. He finished ahead of Daniel Martin, who gets his second place. Molema surprised the favorites group and dropped Nibali. The only consequence of this stage for the general classification is Nibali getting out of the top 10. The shock of Messina is replaced by Molema. The rest doesn't change. The Pyrenean triptych ends tomorrow with the finish at Plateau de Bay. We will leave La Nemezon for 195 kilometers with three passes to climb before the icing on the cake on the finish. It will be the sixth time the tour stops in the resort. Pantani, Armstrong and Contador have won here. The less prepared struggle on the third day in the mountains. That's what Laurent Fignon used to say.